The only thing certain about a Marc Jacobs show is that nothing is certain. That's why there's such a sense of anticipation for this show, and that's why people really hate to miss it. This production was amazing, though. I don't know what, what was it. I don't know if it was an old shipyard or something like that, but it was a great show. He was very creative, but that just goes to show you, the, you know, the creativity of Mark. No, no shipwrecked, not shipwrecked. Sort of more like a combination of some weird frat party, Burning Man, shores of Gotham City, sort of beach scene. I loved being transported back to several different genres and times in fashion and film and music, and I thought it was like the kitchen sink done brilliantly. Everything was printed, appliqued, embroidered, re-embroidered, and trimmed. And I really felt like after last season with the pané velvet and the lames and all the sort of surface interest that we wanted to go like one louder, you know, or ten louder as the case may be. So we really just went to town and I wanted it to be a real celebration of the decorative and things you don't need, you know, but things that draw your eye, that, that call attention to you. All the matador jackets, I loved all of them. And then the gowns were just like so beautiful. I love also the idea that these impeccably beaded and crafted gowns, he's introducing a sort of like casual wear. I love that. I didn't want it to be the cliche of spring and summer. I wanted it to be about girls that I know and love who have no problem whatsoever of coming to work in a Victorian gown with a pair of Birkenstocks or a 40s cocktail dress in the middle of the day with a pair of sneakers. And those are girls that I know. They have no fear of self-expression and that's what they love about fashion.